My name is Bernice Chu. I'm the founding director of the James Museum of Western and Wildlife Art. The James Museum is the culmination of 40 years of collecting from Tom and Mary James. Nobody can appreciate this museum until they walk into the space because you're not walking into a building and expecting just to see art. You walk into the building and you're in an environment. It's a beautiful space just to walk in and be in. My name is Emily Capus. I'm the curator of art for the James Museum of Western and Wildlife Art. The Jameses have been collecting art since they were dating in the 1960s in the Northeast. It's grown and grown over the years, and in the 1980s, when they would go out west to ski, they started going into Western art galleries, and as they've always bought art where they traveled, they started buying the Western art, and that's how all of this has come to be. It was a great challenge to uh, determine what art was going to move to the museum. With over 3,000 works in the collection, I was tasked with uh, working with Mr. James to select the few hundred that are on display here. Our different galleries have different themes, so when you walk upstairs, you can go to the orientation theater that has a short video. As you move through, there's the Vistas, which is kind of an introductory gallery, and then you move through Early West um, Native Life. We have the galleries that are just by Native American artists. We have the Jewel Box, which is Mary's collection. So there's surprises everywhere. It's not just about cowboys and Indians. We're standing in the Native Artist Gallery, and it's their perspectives. A lot of them have used their culture within their work, either symbols or elements. Sometimes it's a landscape like this one. This painting is by Dan Naminka. He is a Tewa Hopi artist from Santa Fe, New Mexico, and he's depicted uh, the land near where he was born. And it's one of those big, bold paintings that are in the Native Artist Gallery that um, really showcase the variety that we have here at the museum. 98% of the collection of, is by living artists. So by getting to know them, he was supporting living artists, and that's very important to Tom and Mary because they have supported living artists and they've supported generations of artists and they can see their work develop. They've developed a relationship with them and they've become friends. Now we're in the New West Gallery. This is a modern twist on traditional Western subjects. This painting by Billy Shank of this cowgirl is a great example of a painting in our new West Gallery. It's fun, it's bright, it's got a big canvas. It celebrates the West in a new way, an unexpected way. It's education. They want the museum and the collection to start educating people through art and also making historical references and revive the interest in the, in the West because it really is the history of our country. It has to do with immigration, diaspora, uh, discrimination, all these things that are very relevant in society today. It's a beautiful place to just walk in and reflect whether you're downstairs looking at the waterfall and the environments or coming upstairs and really looking through the museum. And it's a museum that you can come back to. Every time our staff walks through here, there's always something that we felt like, oh, is that new? Did we see that? And it's not, it's been here. But you're focused on other things. I think that's a, a great thing to have in a museum. The Jameses are a very generous couple and they have funded this museum and started this museum for the community. Um, and this community is already so heavily involved with arts and culture and there's so much here. Um, it's a very vibrant community and this museum adds even one more institution that reflects that.